What's going on, riders? It's Paul with another Ride Home Review. This week I watched Annihilation, uh, a movie that stars Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Oscar Isaac, as well as Benedict Wong, and um, uh, directed by Alex Garland. Alex Garland. Um, and uh, just so you know, subscribe to us on YouTube. Catch up all the Ride Home Reviews. They're all right there from the last year and from the beginning of this year. Like us on Facebook. I put some stuff up there and follow us on Instagram. Um, also, I'm on Anchor. So I do TV reviews on Anchor. Um, those come up. They only last 24 hours. And then also, you can catch this as a podcast as well. Let me turn the car back on here. I don't it think seems, it is. It seems that uh, you need to have this running for this to go. Uh, anyhow, uh, Annihilation is uh, about um, a young biologist, uh, Natalie Portman, who has military uh, background. Uh, her husband comes back after a year missing, and things aren't right. So she goes and investigates why, and then gets wrapped up into a group to to investigate this uh, weird phenomenon called the shimmer and so and she joins in with uh, some other females uh, to go do that and to see at first when we watching it, it reminded me of a uh, all-female version of predator but that wasn't the case uh, it is a interesting movie and so let's get right into what I liked what I didn't like um, what I liked about the, this movie was it uh, was kind of interesting. It was a, an original story, um, yeah, complete science fiction. Uh, there's a lot of science to the science fiction in this. So if you're a science fiction fan, um, that will be interesting to you. Um, it just was, uh, uh, like I said, just an interesting story. Great cast. Um, it was cast very well. Uh, and... Um, and so there, you really can't complain about that. Um, the story was good. The, the cast was good. Um, but there were some things about the story that I didn't care for. I'm not really a fan of this interrogation storytelling device. Um, uh, it's almost gotten to a point. I said this when I reviewed Atomic Blonde. I didn't really care for that part of the movie and how they used it. I would have rather the story be told in a different way. Um, I didn't think that, uh, um, you know, the, there was some, there were some disjointed parts of the story, uh, that just didn't mesh well with me. Um, it just, some of the flashbacks were weird. Some, I mean, I know, understand what they were trying to do. And if it was this motif of being broken and, um, the people being broken, I mean, I understand that it was a little disjointed, a little, a little weird. Um, the character development was a little, little lacking, I thought, um, and some of the secondary characters. Uh, um, and you, you just really had this uh, weird feeling about the film in that regard. But um, interesting film, interesting movie. I liked how it ended. Um, and it was just, just not, it's not for everybody, um, but it is pure science fiction. What to watch for? Um, like I mentioned, the motif is being broken, but I like some of the things they did with refraction and how distortion within certain aspects uh, led, led uh, you know, framing that up and using distortion as, as another motif. So watch for that and how, you know, with the, the science of refraction and stuff like that. So interesting movie don't know if I would highly recommend it it's not for everybody like I said uh, but yeah I, I really don't know how to explain it from there but see for yourself let me know what you think once again like I said subscribe to me on YouTube uh, like me on Facebook uh, follow on Instagram all that stuff and so next week I'm gonna do a recap of the first couple months of the year so no new movie even though there's a couple interesting thing movies that have come out or are coming out but uh, I'm gonna do a, the first part of the year recap so stay tuned for that and see what I liked who I liked and all that yeah so until then see something cool talk to you later